Hey there. This is a video on building a confidence interval for a population mean. Ashley wants to determine the number of chocolate chips and cookies at her bakery. She randomly selects a sample of 52 cookies and obtains a sample mean of 6.3 and standard deviation of 2.2. What is the 98% confidence interval for the number of chocolate chips per cookie? Round your answer to three decimal places. <laughs> we will use technology for this. But the first thing we need to understand is our population standard deviation sigma is not known, which means we have to consider using the t distribution. All this means is that we'll go to a different region to put our information in in Google Sheets. <laughs> Looking at the question, I know that there is a sample of 52 cookies, so n is equal to 52. I also know that in her sample, the sample mean x bar was 6.3 and sample standard deviation s was 2.2. And the only other thing they give me is a confidence level of 98% or 0.98. This is the information we need to put in Google Sheets to find our confidence interval. So we will travel to Google Sheets now and we will go to the data list tab because <clears throat> we have summary statistics to put in. We know the sample mean, we know the sample standard deviation. You will go to the one variable confidence level p-value region that says t distribution. In this case, x bar was 6.3. Sample standard deviation, 2.2. Sample size, 52. And the only other piece of information you need would be the confidence level, 0.98. So this means that your lower limit will be 5.567, upper limit 7.033. That's rounded to three decimal places. <clears throat> so what I know is that my population mean is between 7.033 and 5.567. You can also write this as an, inter an interval notation as 5.567, 7.033. These are the two different ways you could write this confidence interval. And what this is saying is that the true population mean, the number of chocolate chips per cookie and all of the cookies in the bakery will be somewhere between 5.567 and 7.033. So that's how you calculate a confidence interval. Thanks for watching.